I bake it like that. Abuela Bear is in the kitchen. And you were just listening to the sound of I bake it like that. And it's performed by our one and only cookie baker here. It's me, Abuela Bear, with a little assist from me. Green Bear, I love you, Abuela Bear. I love you too, Green Bear. And I love your cookies. And let me say something, Jess. Never, ever, ever have you ever made a tough cookie. Oh no, I am what you call an expert in the cookies. Oh, I know, Abuela Bear. This poor cookie, it's tough. Oh, maybe it's just spiritually tough. Spiritually tough? Yes, maybe the cookie has a tough life and he has to be tough to survive. Oh, maybe that's it. And he's not like hard or anything like that. Well, Abuela Bear, yes, Green Bear. Yeah? You know, there's only one way to find out. Oh, she's going to read now. Oh, I know. All right. Should we find out what's the story? The Christmas story behind Tough Cookie? by Edward Hemingway. Hemingway is a famous name in the literary world. Uh, and grown-ups will know it because Ernest Hemingway, this guy's grandfather, wrote a bunch of super famous books for grown-ups that maybe you'll read in high school one day. But see, the literary gene is strong in this family, meaning a family of writers and artists. Here we go, let's see what Ernest has cooked up for us. Once upon a time, oh, I love it when a story starts like that, don't you? While Fox was visiting Christmas Town in the land of holiday treats, la, 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 la. I don't even want to turn the page yet. Look, I just want to enjoy this scene from up above in Christmas Town. And look, there's a bakery. And, 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 oh, I bet that's a candied apple, not just a regular apple. Oh, and then there's like a milkshake right there and a candy cane with a peppermint riding bike at the corner of sugar and spice and everything's so nice here. And look at everything so perfectly decorated and there's a sale. I love a sale. So, Fox was visiting Christmas Town in the land of holiday treats, once upon a time, when, <gasps> A little cookie, still warm from the bakery oven, burst out from the front door and shouted, I'm a sweet cookie! Well, hello to you too. And since you brought it up, you do look sweet. Of course I'm sweet and fast. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me on the sugar cookie man. Wait, I thought that was the gingerbread man. Mm, that must be another book. Fox never could resist a challenge at such a fox way. So he gave chase, shouting back, You look sweet, sweet enough to eat. Ha ha, just try to eat me. Run, run as fast as you can. You can catch me on the sugar cookie. May! Fox was pretty fast. Oops. And he loves sweets. Crunch! Oh, oh, this is my favorite page on a book ever! Yeah, that looks very tippy tipperon. Oh no, I think we just lost the star of our book in that page already. And, but Cookie wasn't sweet at all. And Fox just <coughs> spit him right out. Blech. You taste awful. my sugar cookie. I taste wonderful. And, oh, look, he's got a little, you have a little, 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 at least he's in one piece, right? That's a big bonus. Uh, sorry to break it to you, my little friend, but you taste terrible. Plus, I think I just broke my tooth. You are one tough cookie. But, 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 but I'm sweet. Um, no, you're not. But, but, <laughs> but if I'm not a sweet cookie, then what am I? A slowpoke who tastes terrible? <laughs> not a slowpoke who tastes terrible. What do I do now? Boo! Boo! Oh no! A weeping slowpoke who tastes terrible is even worse. Oh, there, there, don't cry. Um, maybe you just need some sweetening up. <gasps> You think so? It's worth a try. Oh, meanwhile, over here, ornaments unite. Decorating. Hang together. Decorations hang together. It's like a little, 
like a little rally that they're having in the corner over here. But back to our cookie and our fox. So after a quick trip to the dentist to get his tooth fixed, wow, that is a tough cookie. Fox took Cookie to the Christmas Town Spa. Oh, nice, specializing in sweet massage, where the elves dipped him in delicious eggnog, blah, 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 blah. Mm. sprinkled him with powdered sugar, ah, oh, yes, and sang him sugary sweet Christmas carols. Oh, cookie, oh, cookie, we're gonna make you sweet. La, 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 la. Then Fox gave him a lick, but ew, you could tell by his face already. Cookie still tasted terrible. Hmm, you said you were a slow poke? Maybe we should work on your running instead. So, Fox signed up Cookie for the Sweet Treat Christmas Race. Oh, and it's today. Meet me at the corner of Santa Avenue. That very afternoon, and they headed for the park. Off they go, and there's a little peppermint there, and oh, there is a Santa cookie, and a star cookie, and another star cookie. I bet those are sweet. But Cookie's stubby legs and lack of experience made it impossible to keep up with the more seasoned runners. Well, we have a we have a pistachio cupcake and we have a mint cone and we have a strawberry shake. We have a chocolate cupcake. We have classic pumpkin pie. Uh, there's that apple again, of course, sweet. And this one, what is that thing supposed to be? A candle? A hot dog on fire? A pig in a blanket that got away? You decide. So back here's our little cookie though, far, far back. And as hard as he tried, run, run as fast as you can, cookie. Nope, still dead last, dead last place. <sighs> cookie was exhausted and worse off, he didn't feel so tough. Was he cut out for anything? Oh, look at that look of frustration. That is an angry cookie now. But, you know, Fox thought he was cut out for something. Every treat in Christmas Town should be able to build itself a proper gingerbread house. You can too. I'll help. Oh, okay. So they found a nice little spot in the gated community of Cookie Cutter. <laughs> That's funny. And got to work building and decorating. Look at that. A whole series of exactly identical gingerbread houses. And there they are working away. And have you ever built a gingerbread house? I think I did one time. And it was so fun. And I totally want to do it again. It might not have looked very good, but that's not the point of a gingerbread house. Because it's not going to stay together for very long, if you know what I mean. When they were finished and Cookie went inside his beautiful new home, a crash. <gasps> it didn't exactly hold up. Oh, I, I mean, I didn't expect for it to... Oh, no. And that's when Cookie crumbled. <laughs> I'm not sweet. I'm not fast. I can't even make a gingerbread house. Everything I do is half baked. <laughs> you know what I have to admire about this cookie? Even though he's in the midst of a total emotional breakdown, he still makes a mean bakery pun. Half baked. Don't give up, my little cookie. We figured this out. You've just got to hang in there. Um. Why not hang with us? We've been looking forward to meeting you all day. Huh? Huh? Oh, 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 what do you say? It makes perfect sense, seeing as how we're Christmas tree ornaments and you are too. I am? He is? Of course you are, silly. You're not like the other cookies. You're special, baked with glue and lots of salt. With a little hole in your head for a ribbon? <gasps> so that's what that's for. <gasps> I should have guessed. 
Cookie finally knew what he was made of. Apparently glue and salt and completely not something you should be eating. And he couldn't have been happier. <gasps> that afternoon, he hung with care from a branch on the biggest Christmas tree in the center of the park with <gasps> the sweetest view in town. Like literally, look at that feast for the eyes and the mouth. Overjoyed, Cookie shouted for all the world to hear. Look, look, look at me. You can't reach me. I'm an ornament on a tree. Make some room up there for me, Cookie. Because Fox could never resist a challenge. The end. Oh! So Cookie, he just had to find his place in the world. Do you see this? We have recipes. Oh, 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 I have to see this recipe a storyteller. Okay, I will have So this is a tough cookie recipe. Oh, I don't want to make a tough cookie. I want to make a delicious cookie. Ah, well, I bear, but look at the fine print. Oh, you have to read to me. My eyes are very tired and I cannot see such a small print. Oh, I'll read it for you. It says delicious. Oh and gluten-free. Oh, that is very handy dandy. And, and it makes about a dozen cookies, and so they are delicious, but oh, here we go. Here's the tough cookie ornament recipe, which is non-edible. Oh, that means no eating. Mm -mm, just for decorating, and this recipe makes a dozen cookies. Oh, so I can make myself an entire tree of cookies, tough cookies? Yes. Can they also be spiritually tough? Can your tough cookie be spiritually tough? Yeah, why not? Okay, because I like a cookie with a, a strong a soul. Okay. Oh, wow. Abuela has really strong thoughts about these things. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there just for a nanosecond so that if you want to make this recipe, you could just boop, press pause and zoom in and take a look at this thing because, I mean, the idea of having a whole cookie tree sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, I totally love the idea, and I want, I want Abuela Bear to make a cookie tree. Can you make a cookie tree, Abuela? Okay, we will make a cookie tree together with a tough cookie. And thank you, Mr. Hemingway. Oh, I'm so excited. You know, his grandfather visited my country once upon a time. Oh, you use those magic words, once upon a time. Ah, oh, yes, the best four words ever. All right, kid, now you know what to do. Meet a tough cookie. Hang it on a tree. Abuela. I bake it like that. Abuela Bear is in the kitchen. I bake it like that. And she's about to break it down. 